Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jennifer Ross and I'm back at it again with yet another video. Today's video is gonna be a cooking video. We came back from the supermarket and I have all my groceries to unpack. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna unpack everything, put everything away and then make some bomb ass dishes. I was craving Hawaiian poke bowl so I figured it would be fun to share that recipe with you and I'm also gonna be making banana bread. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up for more videos like this, more cooking videos and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, I'm Jennifer Ross, I post videos about beauty, lifestyle vlogs, um, makeup, hair, you name it, you call it. I post videos about all of that so it's a good time subscribe i would love to have you and we're gonna go ahead and get into this video the first thing that i need to do is change my outfit because i'm wearing a very white outfit so we're gonna change this outfit real quick put my hair up and so it's more practical for me to be cooking and i'll be right back so i'm back hair is pulled back into a little puff situation with a little scrunchie um, and I changed into a hoodie that will make it so much more practical to be cooking so yeah let's get started I'm gonna start off by putting everything away So the first thing we're gonna do is wash the rice and put it to cook in the microwave because that's gonna be the base for the poke bowl. So we're gonna use like two cups of white rice. The next you just wanna wash the rice as usual. And to cook my rice I like to add like a little bit of oil, like a teeny tiny drop, like that much. And some sea salt. This is pink Himalayan sea salt. Stir it up. Then we cook it in the microwave. So this is the chicken that I'm gonna be using. Let's spice up this chicken. First thing I'm gonna do is do one tablespoon of the chicken powder and then we mix. The next up is the garlic powder. I just add like a good amount because I love garlic in my food so I just mix that up by the way I don't have the exact mixture for the marinade for the chicken because I don't know what they do to their chicken but this is gonna be like my own version on it it's what I think it tastes like so just gonna make sure that the chicken tastes good and then we add some of this mixture And then we mix. By the way, the microwave is going, so if you hear that, I'm sorry, but it's just the microwave. Yeah, we're also going to do like a little bit of paprika powder. And we just add it to the mixture. I'm just winging it, guys. I don't know exactly like how much I put, like just a decent amount, okay? And then I add the teriyaki sauce on top of the mixture, like half of the bottle, and then we mix that as well. Ooh, Just gonna let that sit for a little bit, let like the flavors get into the chicken before I like cook it in my little pot. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna chop up all the other ingredients for um, the poke bowl. So yeah, let's do that. So the first ingredient is red onion. Okay. 
So next up are these candy tomatoes. So now we have two toppings, onions and tomatoes. Uh, how am I gonna do this? I'm just gonna cut I think half of it off. So here we have our chicken mixture. It has been like marinating for at least I think a half an hour. We're just gonna use like a little bit of sunflower oil to bake the chicken, like that much. So for the sauce, I have two very simple ingredients. The first one is this cocktail sauce and also some sriracha. They always do like chili, I always ask for chili mayo. I couldn't find that in the store, so I'm just making my own. And I think it, this should work, you know? So we're gonna put just a little bit of that in the bowl, like so. And then we add some sriracha to make it like more spicy, like that much, I think. And then we stir it up with a whisk. Nice rice. Then the next thing is the chicken. Then we have the avocado. The red onion. The tomatoes. And also the mango. And we're also gonna do some seaweed. Good amounts. The next thing is corn. Oh my god, where am I gonna put this? And the last thing is fried onions. Oh my god, looks so good. So we're gonna add a little bit of the sauce of the chicken. And we need to do the chili mayo on top. To do sesame seeds and look how amazing that looks oh my god that looks so good okay so I'm ready for a little taste test and then I need to clean off this kitchen because it's a mess right now you don't want to know but let me let me try it, okay? See if I did good or not. Mm. So good. I can literally start my own restaurant. Mmm. This is so good. Mm. 
Benny, can you please come try this? Mm. I went in a little bit, so just so you know. Mm -hmm. Does it taste similar to the one from Poke Bowl? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. This one is my third, and you can't even forget it. I'm not even forget it. Have you had it already? No. Oh my god, this is so good! Mm. I'm gonna eat this. Talk to you later! So I'm now eating my food, and I'm watching some YouTube, and I'm also having some wine. Cheers! What a life! So Amiga, it is now the next day because yesterday I did not like have enough energy to finish up the video. So it's now the next day. I'm gonna make the banana bread. Benny is playing games in the background, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's another day. We're gonna like make more delicious stuff. So yeah, let's get on into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep the bananas. I'm just gonna peel them and make them ready to be mashed. For the wet ingredients, we're gonna add two eggs. One, two, and then we mix that up. This is the oil that I'm using, sunflower oil. I'm just adding like one cup of that into the mixture. And then I'm also gonna add like the vanilla sugar. I'm gonna add three little packs, which is the same as like I think two tablespoons. So I'm gonna use that as well, put that in there. And then also a little bit of the vanilla extract. I'm gonna add that in there as well. Just teeny tiny bit, winging it basically. And then whisk. So I also love cinnamon, so I'm gonna add some of that too to the mixture. It gives a very good kick. So I love that about that. And then we mix. Okay, then I'm gonna add the flour. I'm gonna use like a cake mix for this. So therefore I am not gonna add any additional sugar to this uh, mixture. So that's the mixture. And then we just mix with the whisk again. We have one tablespoon of the flour and we're going to add that to the blueberries. And what you want to do is take a spoon and just like flip them over. And make sure they're all a little bit coated with a little bit of the flour. Like that. Now we take back our mixture. We're going to take the blueberries and put them in the batter. And then we just mix it around with the spoon. And making sure that it's all mixed into the batter and I'm just gonna pour my mixture into this thing baking time let's put this in the oven the banana bread out of the oven and look how amazing that looks Whoop. so I'm just gonna let that cool a little bit and then we will do a taste test a little bit later when it's a little cooler okay. so I got a slice of the banana bread like look at that oh 
I'm gonna like do a little taste test, even though I already know what's up. So good. Mmm. So, so good. And it's a golden hour. So if I look extra golden, then that's why. Anyways, I'm gonna go make myself something to drink. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see more cooking videos because I'm planning to make Johnny Cakes this week. So if you want me to film that, then let me know in the comments down below. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye! Mwah.